My father got remarried. Apparently, his partner is a woman who took care of him when he was drunk and sleeping on the street. Dad, I wish you didn't tell me that story. The people who came to our first meeting were the woman who would become my mother in law and her two daughters. I'm not particularly opposed to this remarriage. I welcome the addition of ladies to our family that consists of only men. By the way, my name is Mamoru Minoura. I'm 23 years old and good looking. Sorry, I lied. I'm just a normal looking guy. I've never had a girlfriend in my life. It's about time I became forward in that regard. I'm a beast. Sister in law? I don't care. I'm gonna lock onto my prey, and here comes my brilliant speech. Oh, oh, n n n nice to, 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 to meet, meet, meet you. Whoops, I think I accidentally bit my tongue a bit. I guess I was just a little bit nervous in front of beautiful ladies. <laughs> he, he, he bit his tongue. I mean, why don't you look at my eyes and talk to me? <laughs> There's no way this guy could get married. <laughs> hey, you aren't popular with girls, are you? The pretty girl on the left who is making fun of me is Sayaka Tsuruha, the woman who'd become my older sister in law. She is 24 years old and one year older than me. On the other hand, the pretty girl on the right is Makoto Tsuruha. She is now my younger sister in law, only 18 years old and a senior in high school. I can't help it if she makes fun of me like this. I must show her that I'm a man. Oh, yes, yes, I have. Girl, friends, about 100 of them, and I'm engaged about 10 of them. Mamoru, the game and reality are different. Wake up. Oh, Dad, why did you spoil it? <laughs> oh, good, I love it. I'm so glad I now have a funny brother-in-law. <laughs> oh, God, <laughs> my stomach, my stomach hurts. He said a hundred, a hundred girlfriends. Oh, hey, you're too rude to laugh at. <laughs> they were laughing at me so hard. And so I got a new family. Then the beautiful older sister and a cute younger sister moved into my house. A few days later, during lunch break, I was talking to Aika Niu, my friend from high school and now my co-worker. Oh, that's good. You're a shy guy who can't talk to women properly. So thanks to them, you'll get used to women. Or... Would you like to go out with me? Keep your jokes to your face. Whoa, that's harsh. Left, 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 tut. Yeah, my mom and your dad, they left this house to live together for a while. They're newlyweds, so I guess that's how it usually goes. I came home from work, and they told me that our parents have left the house. In other words, they want these ladies and I to live together alone. <sighs> I never thought it would come to this. I'm not sure if it's a good idea. We're women, you know. A man and a woman who were strangers just a short while ago, living together, you know. And it seems you have girlfriends too, right? I wonder if she's referring to what I lied about the other day. Oh no! I have to explain to them! Oh, um, that, 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 that was, was... Yeah, you have girlfriends, right? It's okay, you know. You can bring your girlfriends home. I wonder if they'll misunderstand us as your girlfriends. Well, I'm fine with it. You know... Makoto's cold gaze. Does this mean... Huh? I... Have to leave? Oh, could it be that... They hate me? <sighs> I didn't expect them to suddenly hate me. Maybe it's just a defensive instinct they both have as women. I guess that's what happens when young ladies are suddenly asked to live with a young man. Maybe it's because I've only attended an old boys school. I have a hard time talking to young ladies. To be honest, I'm interested in women. 
It's just that my brain and mouth start to take a little break in front of them. Um, are you okay? I was just taking a walk in the evening. Suddenly, I saw a middle-aged woman crouching in the dark, so I talked to her. Um, have you seen a bag? It's black and it's small enough you could put it in your hand. I was carrying it with my shopping bag and seemed to have dropped it. I think it's around here. Oh, okay. If you want, I can look for it with you. It seems I don't have a problem with ladies this old. Thank you very much, that really helped. No, I'm glad you found it. The women thanked me so politely and left as she bowed to me numerous times. Hmm. I guess you are a nice person. Oh, whoa! Yes, it's your sister-in-law. Seriously, I wonder why you became like that with me. I see. Are you scared of me? Ah, uh, she's definitely a beauty up close. I'm a guy too. I have to be manly with my response to a lady when she asks me if I'm afraid of her. No, 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 that, no, not. Hmm, I see. How about this? Yeah. All of a sudden, she tied her arms with mine. What? 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 Ridiculous! For men and women who aren't even dating to link their arms with each other's. And I thought she didn't like me. Ha! How, how shameless of her! It's only after being in a relationship that a man and woman are allowed to touch each other. Whoa! You idiot! Why? I slipped out of her arms and started running away. I went to an all boys school, so I have zero experience with women. So that was too much of a stimulant for me. So I couldn't get a good night's sleep. Next morning, I was telling Aika about what happened yesterday. What? She just linked her arms with yours. You're way too shy. Because, hey, it's the arms. She linked her arms with mine. Do you think a man can keep his sanity if he is touched by something so soft and tender? Did he just get into junior high or something? Oh! Don't tell me that my sister-in-law is an evil woman who plays with man? Hmm, he's such a rare species. What should I do with him? <sighs> I can't believe I have to be so depressed about going back to my own house. I complain in my mind. At first, I was happy to live with a beautiful woman and a beautiful girl. But now that the reality has hit me, it seems that living with ladies is too much of a stimulant for a manly man like me. Huh? Suddenly, I saw an elementary school girl scurrying around with an anxious look on her face. What's wrong? Are you lost? I spoke to the girl, trying not to scare her as much as possible. Oh, um, I got lost. <laughs> Where am I? Oh, I see. Do you know your home address or the name of your school? Yeah, uh, let's see. If you go near the elementary school, I think you'll find yourself on a street you know. Um, yeah. I walked ahead to lead the way toward the elementary school the girl told me, and then... Hmm? Oh, hey, Mamoru. Maybe she's on her way home from school. Makoto was there with her friends. Wow! So this is Makochi's brother-in-law! He looks so kind. I'm jealous of you, Makoto. What? Uh, what? Wait! Makoto's classmates surrounded me as if they found a rare creature. Who is this girl? Oh, so cute! What were you going to do with this girl, Mr. Brother-in-law? <laughs> Is he a pedophile? Hey, hey, stop! You just found a lost child and are helping her out, aren't you? I nodded as hard as I can at Makoto, who guessed what I'm doing. Ugh, you're too careless. Do you want to get caught? Walking around with a little girl at this hour. That possibility did occur to me, 
but I didn't want to leave a lost child alone either. Oh god, fine, I'll go with you. I know the place! It's alright now! Thank you, uncle and sister! She started running along her familiar road with a smile on her face. Uncle! I was heartbroken. Bye! Don't get lost anymore! Hey, you're so kind, aren't you, Mamoru? No, that... that... Makoto looked straight in my eyes, but I was too humble to say a word. You're still the same. Why don't you look people in the eye and talk? Uh, I, 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 eyes? Whoa! My heart is wanting to scream! He just ran away screaming random stuff! I started running away to get away from Makoto's eyes. There was no way I could do the super difficult mission of looking at a girl in the eyes and talk to her. Ah, oh, what kind of an impossible mission is that? To look in the eyes of a young lady? Well, it's not impossible at all. The next day, I was complaining at Aika again, bitching and moaning. Because, you know, think about it, it would be too rude to eyeball at a pretty high school girl, right? Whoa, you have a really interesting perspective. From now on, we're going to give you a training. One Saturday, I was caught by my sisters as I came out of my room. Yeah, since we're here, we'll train you. So at least you'll be able to talk to us, aside from your girlfriends. We're siblings, so we should be able to talk to each other, right? Girlfriends? What are they talking about? Oh, they're still teasing me about my joke when I first met them. Oh, 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 stop. Well, I guess this will do. Oh, why am I tied up? The next thing I knew, I was tied to a chair. Oh, it's your fault, all right? You wouldn't talk to us properly. Yeah. A soft but slightly cold hand touched my cheek. Here you go! Oh, a lady's hand is touching me! What a shameless act! Well then, I'm going to pat his head and stroke it. Yeah! This is adulteration! Adulteration! How's that? I know it's drastic treatment, but you should get used to touching a woman. I heard you're not used to touching women, big bro. We'll get through this together. <sighs> I wonder how long it has been since I got tied up. They finally took me off the chair. Why are you panting just from being touched? Well, I guess that's good enough. <laughs> For today. For today? Since then, every time I go home, the sisters catch me and make me train. Hey, Mamoru, here, look me in the eyes and let's talk, shall we? So, so cl close! Oh, talk, 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 talk! Uh, hey, don't look away, or else I'm going to kiss you. Kick, kick! Just something married men and w women do! Which era are you from? Just look at me. We need to practice, okay? Here, big bro! Open your mouth! Oh, 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 oh! Is it, isn't that what lovers do to each other? Isn't this almost a crime? Isn't the police gonna come get me tomorrow? By the way, I prefer this mushroom-shaped snack over the bamboo shoot ones. Which do you prefer? Bam... No, I prefer mushroom as well. The people watching this video, you prefer mushroom too, right? Right? For a moment, Makoto made a horrific face. And well, the grueling training went on forever like this. And after a week, I finally reached enlightenment. Hey, Sayaka, Makoto. Good morning. Uh, yeah, good morning. Um, good morning, big bro. You don't sound well, my beautiful Sayaka and my lovely Makoto. I'm so dazzled by your beauty today. I feel like I'm gonna be blinded by your beauty. Um, hey. Didn't we overdo it? What? You were having fun too. Ha <laughs> ha I can't wait to see what kind of beauty I'll be able to meet on the street today. Oh, we 
brainwashed him in a malicious way. Two days later, I was grounded by the two sisters and had to take the day off from work. Oh, hey, you two. Isn't it too much to link your arms to mine from both sides? It's okay. This is practice for you to hang out with girls. Yeah, and we're not doing it for you, it's for us. On a day off, I was walking around town with my arms linked to my sisters on both sides. This stands out too much, even if it's a training for me to be able to speak with them properly. Oh, why? If it's not Mamoru! What a coincidence to see you here! Hmm, that situation. You have two girlfriends? At a time like this, I ran into Aika, who is surprised to see this. Aika? Oh, whoa! This is not what you think! Oh, you are! Yes, he's right. It's not what you think, Miss Girlfriend. Huh? Girlfriend? Yes, that's right. We are his sisters. So don't misunderstand us, Miss Girlfriend. Huh? Um... Who is the girlfriend? Yumi Aika? Huh? She is, right? Because you were walking around with her happily before. At first I doubted if you really had a girlfriend. But I didn't know such a beautiful woman was your girlfriend. Yeah! When I was hanging out with my sis, we happened to see you two together and were surprised. Yay! Did you hear them? Girlfriend! I knew it! We are destined to be together! Ugh, come on! Stop trying to hug me! It's disgusting! Oh, you're so shy! I don't know why, but he's somehow so comfortable just with her. I'm kinda jealous. Yeah, we thought maybe she was someone special to you. I was wondering what the two of them were talking about, but I finally understood what's going on here. Um, I don't know what you're misunderstanding about, but... Aika is a guy, you know? Huh? No, I'm a lady at heart! I'm from an old boy's school, and Aika, his real name is Taro Niu, a former classmate of mine. Yes, Aika is a man who went to an old boy's school with me. Somehow, he turned into a woman after graduating high school. Huh, Taro Niu is my superficial name! The name of my soul is Aika Niu! Wow, what a surprise! Well, now that we have a witness, it's time to finally nurture our love! Keep your jokes to your face, for real! I try to fight off Aika who comes at me, but then I suddenly realize something. Oh, wait a minute. Ma'am, are you okay? Here, can you stand up? I found an elderly lady who had fallen down, so I ran over and helped her get up. You're so kind, Mamoru! Even though you're so clumsy in many ways! Yeah, and we knew that Mamoru is a kind person. So, we're not just going to stand here and watch, we'll help them too, Makoto! Oh! Well, he's got a nice family now, huh? I never thought we'd get to have meals together like this when we first met! Sayaka suddenly said that at dinner after Aika went home. Yeah, right? At first, he even locked himself up in his room and didn't come out. Um, yes, it's all thanks to you two. Even I didn't think this would happen either, and I do realize that I was a crazy guy before. Then, we can move on to the next stage, right? I, Sayaka Suruha, love you, Makoto. I want to marry you. Huh? Unintentionally, I dropped the teacup I was holding and knocked it over on the table. Me too! I, Makoto Suruha, love you. Please go out with me. Huh? Suddenly, two confessions of love. My mind was in a mess and I started feeling dizzy. And... Whoa! When I was finally able to organize my thoughts and the moment I understood the situation, I stood up and backed away to the corner of the room. Wait, wait. You love me? You want to marry me? Go out with me? Huh? Hey, don't run away! I'm telling you, we're serious, okay? That's right. 
We loved you before we even became siblings, you know. What? What do you mean? <laughs> Mamoru, marry me handsome. I'm better than her, right? Huh? Wait, wait a minute. What do you mean you loved me even before we became siblings? We had met before? At least I don't remember that at all. Well, I couldn't even look at a woman's face before, so that can't be helped. Yeah, we had met. That's why I made fun of you for being single on the day we first met as siblings. To make sure you actually were single. Oh, I thought you were just teasing me. If you really had a girlfriend, you would have counter-argued with us, right? But you started saying weird things, so we were like, there's no way he's with someone. But then we saw you walking with Aika, so we thought perhaps you in fact had a girlfriend. Apparently, these girls had misunderstood about me and Aika for a while because of that. I thought we would be able to get along with you at least as family, even if I couldn't become your girlfriend. But you were so awkward. <sighs> you sighed at me. I'm sorry for being awkward with ladies. But you know what? I was so relieved when I found out you were free. We knew all along that you were a kind person who always helps others. The first time we saw you was when you were guiding a blind person. You didn't hesitate at all, and you just talked to her and lent her a hand. We were talking about how there are good people like you in the world. Then another time, I saw you helping someone who was in a tangle with the drunk person. And while everyone was looking at them from a distance and trying not to get involved, you went to help. I was remembering that such a thing happened. That was the first time I called the police. I called out to you too, but you ran away from me. Oh, my bad. <laughs> but you know, we were talking about how nice it would be to have someone like you as a boyfriend. Someone who would definitely be very kind, gentle, and happy when we're together. Maybe we've liked you ever since then. So I was really surprised. I never thought you would become our family. It's like fate, don't you think? So? Will you marry me? I'm sure we can get married even if we're siblings-in-law. Whoa! You're so close to me! Even though I've started to get used to ladies, this is just too close! No, no, big sis! He's going out and getting married with me! You too? I looked for a place to escape, but of course there was none. Meanwhile, the girls looked at each other for a moment, and... Which one? Wait, 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 which one? I mean, of course, which one are you going to choose? Me, the spunky young high school girl, right? Oh, of course you choose me, right? I'm closer to your age than this little kid. <laughs> the two of them were glaring at each other. I shrugged my shoulders, thinking that this ordeal was gonna last forever. Half a year has passed since then. Thanks to Sayaka and Makoto, I've completely become used to women. But, I never thought the time would come when I feel most at peace in my office. Ha ha ha, I think most guys would wish they had that problem. Then perhaps you can just go out with me or something. That's definitely not gonna happen. I think it's about time you make up your mind. Which one are you going to pick? Every single day after work, I am confronted like this by these two. And for some reason, it seems my only choice is to go out with one of them. In the past six months, we've gotten to know each other a lot better and we've become more like a family, that's for sure, but... Well, well, you're going to have to give us an answer today, okay? Oh, I'd love to have a student marriage. How should I respond to these girls who want to be more than just siblings with me? I still didn't have an answer for them at that point.